Hi everyone, so back out for another session on the river. Um, got a, sounds like hundreds of bees quite close to my head. Well, I guess I'm sitting um, quite close to the flowers. It's going to make me a bit nervous. Um, anyway, I'm back on the river. Um, looking quite low. Um, and the flow, yeah, I mean, there's there's flow on it, but it doesn't look um, doesn't look great. So. Um, I thought I'd chance my luck today, it's quite overcast. It hasn't been particularly warm today, but yeah, it's um you know it's okay. Um it's uh yeah, it's it's a bit of colour to the water, um, which is surprising considering it's so low. Um and I've basically so I'm just putting one rod downstream um and the other one um upstream. So I'm just sort of targeting the, the far bank area, it's, it's um, a bit deeper over there, so um, put them both out, fishing on, um, well fishing with lamprey and herring, um, dumbbells again, um, so that's from three foot twitch, and yeah I've just wrapped them in matching pace, so got a rod, uh, yeah, rod in either direction and, and hopefully see what happens, so just want to say um, thanks to all the subscribers and, and for all those that comment on my videos. Um, you're sort of getting up into sort of two, two thirty, I think two thirty-three subscribers now. So um, thanks to you all. Like I say, thanks for all the comments. It's really great. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, I have a bit more content to show you from um, from today's session. Well, I'll just take you through uh, some of my setup. Um, so, I've got one of these um, core and power mesh telescopic um, landing net arms. So, it compacts down quite well, which is perfect for me. Um, and I've got that paired with a 36 inch corum net. Again, um, they do the, the trick for me. I've got a tracker net float on there. So, um, that's that's what I'm using, and the, the pole folds down. It's probably like a, just a meter or so um, long, so it's it's really good. Uh, rod wise, I've got um, Fox Duo lights. Um, some of the 1.75 tips today. Uh, I really don't bother with the the finer glass tips, to be honest. Um, uh, aggressive bites from from barb that I'm targeting. Um, really doesn't warrant having a, a quiver tip on there so when when I get the bites I can generally see them quite easily um, I've got the rods paired with the Shimano um, bait runners so they're 4,000 sizes so um, both of those I think I've got 12 I'll leave a 10 or 12 pound uh, line on there so um, again I just want to make sure that I land the fish not just hook them um, so I, I do make sure my um, my gear is sort of ready for that um, bait wise I've got a mixture of baits with me um, loose feed um, I've got some mixture of pellets in there so I've got krill I've got halibut to be honest I don't even know what's in there but there's just a mixture of pellets um, I like to sort of keep a mix I don't really like just going with one pellet so just create a, a you know a few different flavors in there um, bait wise I'm on the hook yep it's the three foot switch um, bait so I've got in here I've got the SG ones which are the green ones and the smoked herring and lamprey uh, the sort of ready brown um, and then the matching paste as well so um, really nice molds really well um, and I like to put a big chunk of that round the hook and um, just a bit of added attraction and then putting putting a bait out in the the river the, the smaller fish will no doubt peck it and it will um, it will gradually just work its way downstream so um, pretty fragrant um, really like this paste as well. It's easy to mould and it doesn't just sort of mould around and then just fall off in your hands like some of them. I've had this really good. It sort of will stick on there and gradually break down over a period of time in the water. Um, and then hook baits um, or hook set up really. What I've got is I've, I've got the um, the paste wrapped dumbbell there. Um, we've got this one a little bit tangled at the moment. And then I've got a PVA bag on there, so that's when I'll use some of the pellets and some of the hook baits as well. I've got that just glugged at the moment, so just trying something a bit different today. And that's what I'm going with, and yeah, hopefully it will um, it'll do the trick for me.
be right. Beautiful. I was surprised to catch that. I thought it was going to be a bream. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a bream, so lovely to see. What a great fish. A bit damaged on its side. Beautiful. Okay, a little update. Um, we're into the last hour. Um, I have had a, a, I thought it was a bream, but it was a lovely roach. Um, took, took a dumbbell. So it's fantastic to see. It's surprised the size of the, the roach in here. So it does make me want to um, think about sort of some float fishing in here because if the size of the roach, what a wonderful fish. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, we're into the last um, into the last hour. So getting a few sort of well, getting a bit more action on the rod tips. Um, sort of haven't had any um, sort of big wrap rounds yet, but. The insects are, are coming out, so they're starting to find me now. So, um, fingers crossed. It's still still quite um, bright at the moment, so I suspect the darkness will set in shortly. Um, but yeah, hopefully as the light fades, the chance increase. So, let's see how we get on. Moving much. I think it's time to wake up. Yep. It's going to take some line. It's gone over to the far side of the swim. It's just starting to rain. Get this fish in. I can feel the line grating on something. That's not a good feeling. Yeah, the fish is just kicking back upstream. So she's going upstream, downstream.
Yes, did I get in? No. Oh. No. Still don't want to come in. <sighs> yes. Lovely fish, great markings, or just great condition. Bit of a mark on the, on the side, so really pleased uh, to get this one in the net. So, yeah, let's take a look at the other side. Right, so hopefully, you can see a very, very powerful fish. We didn't fight much, but sort of just stayed low. So, yeah, really pleased, really pleased. See that? There she is. Let's try and light her up a bit of current. How you doing? You got one? Yeah, yeah. 11 4. 